Yeah, this was a lively last minute election eve get out the vote rally that seemed like a Sunday night church service. The famed Mississippi Mass Choir was the featured group at SB's Gospel Explosion. Again, this doubled for a chance to urge voters to get out and support him tomorrow in the election. A big crowd came out to Anderson United Methodist to host where a host of Democratic Party leaders urged voters to go to the polls in what could be an historic election. SB could become the first African-American elected in Mississippi to the U.S. Senate since Reconstruction. New poll results released release Monday show SB leading the pack with 40 percent. Chris McDaniel in second place with just 28 percent, followed closely behind by Cindy Hyde-Smith, Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith with 27 percent, and Toby Barty coming in the dead last with about 1 percent support from voters. SB said he believes his campaign is surging and gaining momentum. He said if he wins, he will serve all Mississippi. Mississippians. It comes from the, uh, the core issues that I've been promoting throughout Mississippi, and I named them today, health care, education, you know, student debt, all these folks, it doesn't matter what race you are, they all experience the same things, and uh, they want someone that can bring change and hope to uplift their situation. It doesn't matter what race they are, they know that, uh, you know, I'll see everybody regardless of race or age or party. In Mississippi's other U.S. Senate race, the new poll shows Democrat David Barrier trailing incumbent Republican Roger Wicker by eight points. That poll shows Barrier leading among African-American voters, but trailing significantly behind the incumbent Republican among white voters. Tomorrow morning, Espy says he plans to head out to his polling place in Madison County, cast his vote, and he expects a very, very busy day. For now, we're live in Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.